this time it's back with another Linton's video. Hey, man, we got something new from Fragrance World. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV. Whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile, maybe in the back of a bus, maybe in the front of the bus, maybe in the middle of the bus, maybe you're standing on the bus, wherever and however you watch me, it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very, very important. You guys know Fragrance World. Man, I love me some Fragrance World. Pretty much one of my favorite Middle Eastern uh, brands, if you will. I mean, there's just so many of them, but Fragrance World, along with Tafa, along with Armaf, along with Hamidi. By the way, if you guys want some of that Hamidi fragrance, go check out their website. I'll leave the description down below. And if you actually leave uh, uh, with some stuff, you know, and you need some of that discount, if you use Thomas A. Lynn as a coupon code, you will get 25% off for like the next month or so. So with that being said, go check out Hamidi as well. Go check all of them out. The top of Fragrance World, Paris Corner, all of those, check them out. But nonetheless, let's get into this. Now I got these two fragrances from eBay, the guy out there in New York, if you will. And these bottles, the way the bottles looked, when you see that little thumb tick, that thumbnail, when you're looking through eBay, you see these things, you type in Fragrance World and all these different fragrances come up and there's a couple of them that just, you know, scream at you pretty much. You're scrolling down, you're scrolling, and just the bottles, they kind of they, they kind of grab at your attention and that's exactly what these two did me. Now, we will just discuss one, but I'm gonna show you both of them anyways. And that is Fragrance World Expose Black. And we have Expose Brown. And just by looking at these, you know, the, the, the presentation, very nice boxes. Uh, I'm assuming these are gonna open up almost like a two door fridge. Okay, they're gonna open up like suicide doors and then we're gonna have the fragrance. So I'm gonna go with the black today. We'll do the brown another day. So this is actually the brown, this is the black. Okay, so we'll go with the black today. And I'm gonna show you this. This is, when you see the way this bottle looks, now maybe it looks even better in person, but the way it looked on the thumbnail is the reason why I got it. And uh, never seen this one. This was the first time I seen it. So uh, nonetheless, let's get into this juice if we could juice get you loose also by the way if you like these t-shirts these are those into the am i like these into the am the ones with the the cool little uh cool little designs on the shirts i like these ones it's got a little chubby belly it kind of hides it a little bit nonetheless let's get into this man i've said that about a thousand times here we go here is that expose black you know open that up boom like that boom like this and then boom like that and boom take a look at that kind of already looks uh, similar to the way I'm looking at it if you were to look at it at the top I'm gonna pull it out real quick but kind of reminds me of some of those Zaro most wanted the wanted lineup but here we go Ooh, nice heavy weighted glass here we go is this something that we pulled off no, so this just sits here, okay? This, I don't even know what this thing is. What is this for? Let's see. Okay. So we open that up to expose the sprayer, which I guess that's the way to lock it, keep it locked if you were to go on vacation, you know, nothing can hit the top of that sprayer, okay? So that is there just for that. So I don't know, does that look cool to you guys? Or, or I don't know. I feel like they could have did a little bit more with that top. But just looking like that, I don't know. I think maybe I'd rather seen just a full cap, but that is how you use it. You gotta pull that away, and then you put that there. Now, I don't really necessarily think you need this actually spray it. If you just turn the nozzle around, you could spray it like this, but then again, your finger will be in the way to kind of be really weird. But, so we're gonna pull that back to use it. So let's see what it's all about. Expose, unisex unisex now this yeah, the, the box was black but the, the bottle looks like this uh, brown look so maybe this is brown who knows but uh, let's get into it see what it's all about oh. 
Ooh. Gourmandi. A vanilla, chocolatey. Somewhat fruity. Very loud, very sexy. Ooh, man, that's nice. Powdery. Ooh. Woody. Ooh. I'm liking this one, you guys. I am liking it. I'm... Man, I keep getting these little whiffs of it. Man, let me get closer to see what the... It's like fruity. It's like chocolatey. It's vanilla. It's woody. Looks like this mount thing here right here is praying. Let me get... Man, this is nice, you guys. I don't... I really don't know what this is cloning. I didn't look into it. I haven't asked the guy, the seller. I was like, hey, do you know what this is a clone of? He said he doesn't know just yet. And I don't know yet. But off the back in the air, I am digging this fragrance. I love it. I love it a lot. This is a sexy date night fragrance. This is a sexy date night. Going out to that club with the wife. You want to be sexy. You want to wear that nice leathery jacket. Nice little black shirt underneath that. Just kind of want to look like a badass. You want to look like a sexy bad mother effer. It's actually super bright and fresh when you smell it on the skin. Again, you guys, that's what I'm talking about. Is that when you smell it on the skin, it is much different than what you smell in the air. Again, in the air, definitely got this kind of fruity, almost chocolatey vanilla, powdery, woody scent in the air. Very sexy, very attractive. Very, it's 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 slightly sweet. Yeah, it's definitely got some kind of fruity note in here. I'm not sure what it is though. Ooh, that's nice, you guys. I like it. I like this one a lot. This smells so dang good, you guys. Uh, I'm gonna see if. Uh, let me get the opinion of one other person real quick. Uh, daughter? Come here. This smells good, you guys. I don't care what anyone says. Now, even if she says she doesn't like it, I'm gonna... I still like it, so... Uh, don't go too far. You get your socks all wet. But, uh, can you kind of smell it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Smells good? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. So... Here, this is what I'm going to show you guys, just to show you that I'm not joking, okay? Put your smell in the air. It smells good, right? Yeah. She says yes, but smell it on the skin now. It smells much different, right? That's what I'm talking about, you guys. Again, when you want to try to pinpoint notes in a fragrance, okay? That's when you want to smell your skin, okay? You want to spray it the back of your hand or the wrist and smell it. Go deep on it. Let it sit. Come back to it. Smell it. Man, there's this fruity kind of almost, man, I can't. It reminds me of a sweet candy that, man, it's it's weird. It is a weird, it's like a fruity, fresh, sweet. Again, in the air, and you get this vanilla, you get this beauty, luxurious, sexy, seductive fragrance in the air. You get close, you can get this fresh, sweet Man, first impressions, I really like this one. That is that exposed unisex hay. Again, this is like a brown tint, brown, brownish, goldish, yellowish, then goes up to the brown, and then you get this gold look, and this, again, is kind of to lock that in place if you don't want to accidentally spray that. But man, this is that exposed, again, I think this is like a bronze, okay? I'm gonna go with bronze, exposed bronze. I mean, this stuff is very, very nice, you guys. If Again, I'm pretty sure if you are a super knowledgeable about every single fragrance, you're probably going to smell this and you're going to say it smells like something, okay? If you guys have smelled this, you let me know what it is a clone of. But from what I'm smelling in the air, what I'm smelling on the skin, I absolutely love 
this juice. Okay, again, this is first impressions, but it is quite loud. It's definitely going to be a nice, cool weather for us, though, especially with that sweet. Again, slightly powdery in the air. You get closer, there's a freshness about it. I like it. I like it. This thing smells awesome, you guys. Go check this one out. Expose from Fragrance World. Again, take a look at that presentation, which is unbelievable. This was about, I think, $45, give or take. I'll leave the description down below. Again, from eBay. Boom, we open that up, and then you pull that down like that. Boom, and the fragrance sits right in there. Man, this stuff smells good. I can't wait to get to the other one just to see what that one's all about, man. But this, expose, expose yourself to some beauty. Expose yourself to that juice, okay? With that being said, again, that is a first impression, but I'm in love with it. Again, a lot of times, you guys know, whether you're gonna, if, if you're gonna be in between with the fragrance on your first impression, or you're gonna either love it, or you're gonna hate it, you can kind of tell right off of the first initial blast. And with that one, I absolutely love that fragrance. Smells good, smells so damn sexy, smells seductive, smells amazing. So with that being said, hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.